gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show, local news. Check us out on all of our platforms. And always remember, we're sponsored by Dieter's Consulting and Park Shoga. How about this? The Army Corps of Engineers dredging the Ohio River. You know why? They need to make it deeper. Kind of scary. That's a whole heck of a lot of river to dredge, though, isn't it? Campbell County, they're going to have a meeting about the real property taxes. It's 17.10. You ready for this? The proposed tax rate is to make it lower. How you like that? All right, the truck tire owner, where the tire blew off and killed this wonderful lady right here, uh, has been identified. They say he's fully cooperating. Let's hope he did not know. Let's hope he did not know. St. E's latest money maker. I keep that I'm giving him some promotion here. You know what they're saying? Oh, the chilly winds and dropping temperatures, cold and flu season, you know, do a video visit, blah, blah, blah. They'll do anything for money. By the way, those video visits aren't free. And in Kentucky news, you ready for this? Thomas Massey, Mitch McConnell, and Rand Paul have not said one word about the Trump January 6th indictment. Not one word of a support of him. Actually, Massey did invoke the name of Ron DeSantis with a little remark. Farmer of the year, how do you like that? <laughs> By the way, back to that other story, J.D. Vance and Greg Lansman and the, and the uh, Ohio folks did all comment. Pretty interesting. Owensboro Farm of the year, Farmer of the Year. Uh, da, 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 da. Gary Cecil of Cecil Farms. I had to have his name. Uh, Fancy Farms coming up this Saturday. Don't waste your time. See, there are there's less than a thousand people that go to that to watch these people that you've already heard give speeches, boring speeches with written contrived jokes. There's not going to be one great orator there. And you know, I hate Stephen Elder. I got a funny story about Stephen Elder. <laughs> I need to tell it. I need to tell it. I'm not ready to. It is hysterical. It, it is like, I'm going to really bait you here. It's like the all time, like if you were a man and you had a guy that was your enemy, it's like the best, funniest thing you could have over on him. <laughs> How's that for a mystery? All right. This is a sad story. This Woodford County teacher, her name is... Uh, Abby Doby uh, was killed. She was teacher of the year in her school. I mean, West Jasmine High School. I, when I see articles like that, I'm like, it just makes me sick. Sick. Uh, Kentucky farmers could have hay shortages this year. It's improved a little bit with July, but June was a problem when they needed it. Now, by the way, farming's tough. All right, Kentucky PACs. They are the what is funding the governor's race. It's not their individual money raising. It's the PACs. And you ready for this? Frank LaRose, Ohio's top election official, had August the 2nd down uh, instead of August 8th for the correct date for the issue one vote. <laughs> Your Secretary of State. That's embarrassing. But he wants to be a U.S. Senator. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.